Former television presenter Yanni Duplessis was living what many thought was an idyllic life until she was diagnosed with breast cancer. With two young children, she had no choice but to beat it. Life after cancer has many stages. I think what happens is you realize now looking back that that's actually when my life started because everything in my life changed after then. I wanted to read different books and listen to different music. Everything I do, I just approach completely differently. And also the whole thing about fear. Fear is a big thing when you get an illness, but nothing can be as scary as that. Well, I actually didn't realize it. It was actually by chance that I discovered that I had breast cancer. I fell off a motorbike and the handlebars hit my chest and I was struggling to breathe but it was from bruising and then I went to a clinic in Switzerland just to check and see if I didn't break a bone or something because I, it was so sore and they discovered the lump and it was a big lump it was amazing that I didn't actually I mean I was so ignorant about breast cancer and that's the thing if you're not aware of what you should be looking for. You'll never pick it up. That's the thing we actually get in the communities because you don't feel cancer. It's not really a painful illness. It's just there. I felt so blessed that I survived and I knew that I survived because I detected my cancer very early and that is the message. But as I continued doing breast cancer awareness, we realized that the men and the husbands of the breast cancer survivors were telling us stories about prostate and we decided to just start a new group called Can Survive that in embraces all cancers and we don't just focus on one cancer. So the trip is different. It's going to be nice to have some men help us carry the luggage. and pull the bikes out of the garage in the morning <laughs> because it's been an all-girls ride up till now. In addition to her work with Can Survive, Yanni supports various initiatives that have declared war on cancer. The Pink Drive is one project that is making a difference. This truck is very impressive. Tell us about it. The doctor's room is on wheels. You could be mistaken for thinking you in a private practice. It's called Pink Drive and they've got mobile units, two mobile units, one in Johannesburg and one in the Western Cape. However, the two units are different. The one in the Western Cape has got mammography equipment on board. So how many women have come through this truck? About 3,000 women have come through this truck. Most of those have been free mammograms to the community. The, the condition and criteria is women without medical insurance. And then the truck in Johannesburg does the same thing, but it does clinical breast examinations and education. And they have seen about 17,000 women in just over two years come through that truck there. So show me the rest of the truck. Well, come through. This is the change room. And so women are asked to come through here and take off their top in their bra. Should I? Take on one of the <laughs> gowns. <laughs> oh, here's the machine. And so Yanni, this is the equipment, state of the art, and this is the same equivalent you would get in a private practice that we have now made mobile units out of and we take the services to the people. It's very impressive, my goodness. With increased early detection and new treatment approaches, breast cancer fatalities have been reduced by 20% in recent years. I felt extremely guilty that I was putting my family through this inconvenience. I think one forgets that the families go through such a difficult time and I wish that there was more support for the children of the cancer patient or the mother because they are also speechless and you know when you're the patient you get the chocolates and the cards and the attention and you get all this you get, you get you, actually there is wonderful support for the patient but I think that the people around the patient are the ones that suffer the most. I think that for every battle you have to fight in your life, you need to have a different mindset. You know, sometimes it helps to be positive, sometimes it helps to be strong, 
But with cancer, you need to think beyond the cancer. You need to think about what it's going to be like once you are healthy again. Or you've got to find something on the other side. My hook was my children. They were very small and all I wanted was to explain to them words of love and things that I realized with my illness, I didn't teach them. And um, that made me survive. Determined to ensure that cancer claims fewer lives, organizations like the Pink Drive perform their work in honor of those who have bravely lost their battles with cancer. Hello, doctor.